Hello there. So in today's video, we'll be talking about monthly dividend stocks. I know many investors get into dividend investing with a view to replace their monthly income. And in today's video, I'm going to give you the full list. That's 44 monthly dividend stocks that are currently paying dividends monthly in 2021. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name's Andy. And on this channel, I like to talk about money and success. If you're interested in making, saving or investing money, please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, hit the notification bell, and then you'll get notified every time and release a new video and if you enjoyed this video and found it useful please remember to give me a thumbs up because that helps the YouTube algorithm which in turn helps me and I do appreciate it. So let me talk a little bit about monthly dividend stocks. If you've seen my channel before you'll know I did a list back in 2020. That list has basically now been updated so back then I only had 38 stocks on the list. In this video we've now got 44. There are some stocks that dropped off that list because they stopped paying monthly dividends. They either went to quarterly or something else went wrong and there are stocks that have now gone from quarterly to monthly dividends which have added onto this list. So this is the new and updated list. If you are interested in seeing the list that maintained the dividends in 2020 then I'll put a link to that up there and in the description down below so you can check that out. But the list I'm going through now is the current 2020 list of monthly dividend stocks that are paying dividends monthly right now. Now one of the nice things about this list of stocks is that we've got quite a variety of stocks in the list. So as you'd expect you've got lots of REITs and it's a variety of REITs. You've got retail REITs, you've got commercial REITs, you've got land and farming REITs. Then of course you've got business development companies and there's a whole multitude of those. Then as well as that you've got utility companies including oil pipeline companies. There's even a water company. Now water's never going to go out of fashion. There's a renewables energy company which does hydro solar and wind then of course there's also a telecoms company and there's even an aerospace and aviation company in this list as well so if you go through the list you'll see quite a variety and I will be going through the key points I'll let you know what each company does I'll be talking about the share price and I will also be talking about the dividend so you know what's been happening with that as well don't worry I will whistle through the list as quickly as possible because I appreciate there's 44 stocks and you're not going to want to sit listening to me for hours on each one and I don't want to make this a two hour video so I will go quite quickly over each one. I will put a list in the description down below which will give you timestamps to each of the stocks so if you're just interested if you've just come for one specific monthly stock you can click on the timestamp from the description and that will take you to that point in the video and likewise I'll also put a link to a spreadsheet which lists all of the stocks in the description as well. So if you want to just download the spreadsheet to get that, because I know some people just are looking for a list of stocks to research themselves, that's fine. That is down there as well. But if you do do that and you don't watch the video, I'd really be grateful if you could at least give me a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing, because it really does help the channel out and helps me out. And of course, I really do appreciate that, okay? As we go through this list, the new ones, I will attempt to mention that so you know they're new to the list. And I will, of course, let you know which of the stocks I am particularly either invested in or considering investing in, so that you know which ones I am personally interested interested in and why and on one of them I believe I even told you I categorically I'm not interested in it so you will know anyway so if you are watching the video you'll learn all that information hopefully you'll find that useful if you already invest in monthly dividend stocks I'd love to know what stocks you're investing in please let me know your favorite monthly dividend stocks in the comments down below that's always good for me to see and it's also good for other people watching the video to see because you can browse through and see which ones are most popular with the other watchers of the channel if you like. So with all that said I'm not going to waffle on for too long now we're just going to dive straight in let's go over to the slides and let's get on with this so you can go through this list. Enjoy. All monthly dividend stocks that pay monthly dividends in 2021. Rules for inclusion in this list they must pay monthly dividends in 2021 they must be publicly traded company that shares can be bought in. What I will cover for each stock I will let you know the long-term share price trend the dividend yield the dividend trend and what each company does. So with all that said, let's dive right in. Agree Realty Corporation, ticker symbol ADC, the current share price is $72.43. The dividend yield is 3.6%. This stock is a REIT. If you don't know what a REIT is, I made a video explaining what is a REIT. I'll put a link to that up in there and in the description down below so you can check that out and learn all about what a REIT is but I will go through this one now. This particular REIT focuses on the ownership, acquisition, development and management of retail properties. The share price trend has been climbing, the dividend has been continually increasing and just went from quarterly to monthly dividends in January 2021. So this is one of the ones that was not on the previous list. AGNC Investment. AGNC is the ticker symbol. The share price is $16.89. The current dividend yield is 8.53%. This is a mortgage REIT. 
the share price trend is flat to down, the dividend has reduced 25% in April 2020 and has stayed the same ever since. Armour Residential REIT, ticker symbol ARR. This is one of the more popular monthly dividend stocks. Its share price is $11.54 at the moment. Its dividend yield is quite high at 10.49%. It is a residential REIT. Its share price trend, however, over the long term has been falling, as you can see by the chart there. Its dividends were missed in April and May 2020, but resumed lower in June 2020 and increased a little in July 2020. They have since stayed the same, but still at a much lower level than pre-pandemic levels. Groupie Aviel Asionis Y Valors. I apologize if I said that wrong. I don't speak Spanish. I'm assuming this is Spanish and I'm really sorry if I said that wrong. I hope don't take offense anybody. Okay, ticker symbol AVAL. Share price is $5.66 at the moment. The forward dividend yield is 5.23%. It's a financial services company that operates in Colombia and Central America. The share price trend is flat to down, as you can see on the chart there. The dividends go up and down, but genuinely have been stable. Broadmark Realty Capital, ticker symbol BR. MK. Share price is $10.59. The dividend yield again is a high one at 7.93%. This is a mortgage REIT. The share price trend is flat to down, but only have two years worth of data. So maybe a potential recovery play as it has been climbing since the March 2020 crash, as you can see. The dividends have been reduced since May 2020, then increased in January 2021, but are still slightly less than the pre-pandemic levels. I'd expect that when they go up, if they go up, that should boost the share price. So if you're looking for a recovery play, it's one you might want to look more into. Choice Properties REIT, this is another new one on the list, I believe. Ticker symbol PPRQF, share price is $11.60. The dividend yield at the moment is 4.98%. So just a smidgen of 5%. This is a retail REIT. Its share price trend is volatile to flat. As you can see, it's essentially been trading sideways for years. The dividends are slightly up and down, but generally have stayed stable over the longer term. Cross Timbers Royalty Trust, ticker symbol CRT. The share price is $11.46. Again, it's a massive dividend yield at 10.9%. This one has a tiny market cap. Cross Timbers Royalty Trust was created on February the 12th, 1991, and it makes money from two sources. First income is derived from 75% net profits interest from seven oil producing properties in Texas and Oklahoma operated by established oil companies. In addition, income is generated from 90% net profit interest from gas producing properties in Texas, Oklahoma and New Mexico. So this is very tied to oil prices, I would have said. Share price trend has been up and down and flat but has doubled since my last dividend stocks video. The dividends really do vary month to month though. So the next stock on the list is Dream Industrial REIT, ticker symbol DREUF. The current share price is $12.90. The forward dividend yield is 4.24%. This is an industrial REIT, mainly operating in Canada. The share price trend is down and up stroke flat. At the moment, you can see it's been on quite a rise and it's currently near its all time highs as well. Dividends are fairly stable, but have fallen over the longer term. They dipped in March 2020 and have increased higher than pre-pandemic levels now, which is obviously a good sign. Dream Office Real Estate Investment Trust, ticker symbol DRETF. Share price is $18.14. The forward dividend deal is 4.31%. This is an office REIT, as the name implies. The share price trend, I've described that as a roller coaster, but generally it's been down over the longer term. The dividends, however, are fairly stable since 2017, but used to be a lot higher and fell in 2016 and fell again in 2017 and never really recovered. But they have recently increased them in 2021, but still fairly flat since 2016. New increases literally bring it back to the level it was in 2018. That's the dividends. Dynex Capital, ticker symbol DX. The share price is $18.57. The current dividend yield is a whopping 8.4%. Again, this is a mortgage REIT. The share price trend is flat since 2003, basically. The dividends have been generally falling since 2013. Every change seems to be a decrease. Eagle Point Income Company, Inc. Ticker symbol EIC. This is another new one on the list. Share price, $16.23. The forward dividend yield is 6.55%. Again, this is a mortgage REIT. The share price trend is flat to down, but climbing since March 2020. 
the dividends recently increased but to a lower level than they were pre-pandemic. Ellington Financial, ticker symbol EFC, share price is $18.22. The dividend yield is massive at 9.41%. Again, this is a mortgage rate. The share price trend is falling, although currently higher than just before the pandemic. The dividends have been generally falling since 2014, but got increased in April and again in May 2021. So now back to pre-pandemic level of 15 cents per share per month. Exchange Income Corporation, ticker symbol EIFZF. The share price is $33.24. The forward dividend yield is 5.53%. Exchange Income Corporation is a unique Canadian business which acquires companies in the aerospace and aviation and manufacturing sector. So this is your aviation play if you are interested in that one. The share price trend is volatile to flat but currently it's near its all-time highs. Dividends have been generally flat, dipped in March 2020 but have since recovered past that level to its highest level yet. Gladstone Capital Corporation, ticker symbol GLAD. This is one of the more popular monthly dividend stocks. I know a lot of people invest in this. The share price is $11.51. The forward dividend yield is 6.78%. This is a business development company or BDC. The share price trend is flat since 2008. The dividends have been flat since 2009 and dropped just a little in April 2020 and have increased in January 2021 but still below pre-pandemic levels. Now if you're interested in business development companies such as this one I actually recently made a video about five business development companies and compared them to each other to figure out which one is best. I'll put a link up there and in the description down below to that if you are interested in that. That lists a multitude of business development companies and you'll see how they compare in that as well. I've made many videos on business development companies. If you go to that one, you'll see others. I'll put links to other videos of that type about business development companies in the description down below. So if you look for that and you are interested in learning more about business development companies, you can check those out and learn about those there. Let's carry right on. Gladstone Commercial Corporation, ticker symbol good. How cool is that ticker symbol? Share price $22.58. The current dividend yield is 6.7%. This is a diversified REIT, potentially a good income stock, but unlikely to generate much real long term growth, in my opinion. The share price trend is flat. The dividends have been flat since 2008 and increased just a little for the start of 2020, which is obviously a good sign. Very stable but very slow growing dividends has been what my comment was when I noted that now. Gladstone Investment Corporation, ticker symbol G-A-I-N or GAIN. Again, this is one of the more popular monthly dividend stocks, I know that. Share price is $14.57. The dividend yield is 5.75%. Again, this is a business development company. The share price trend is climbing since 2009 and the dividends are monthly and generally growing since 2011. Gladstone Land Corporation, ticker symbol LAND. Is that a cool ticker symbol or what? Share price $23.38. The dividend yield is 2.3%. This is a farm and vineyard REIT. So if you're interested in investing in vineyards, this would be a good one for you. The share price trend has been down and up, but it's currently near all-time highs. And as you can see, it's had quite some run-up recently. The dividends are monthly and generally growing, but very slowly. However, even increased them in 2020 and again in April 2021, albeit very small dividend increases. There were at least increases, and you know what they say, an increased dividend is a safe dividend. Global Water Reserve Resources, ticker symbol GWRS. So if you're interested in investing in a water company that pays monthly dividend, this would be a choice to consider. The share price is $17.42. The current dividend yield is only low though at 1.68%. It's a water utilities company as the name suggests. The share price trend is steadily climbing, currently near all time highs, and the dividends are monthly and generally growing, but very slowly. They have increased dividends for seven years and that includes increasing the dividends in 2020, which is obviously a great time because not many companies could do that during a pandemic. Granite Real Estate Investment Trust, ticker symbol grp.u or grp-un, depending on what site you're looking it up on. If you're looking it up on Yahoo Finance, you need to put GRP-UN. Share price is $58.26. The forward dividend yield is 3.48%. This is an international REIT. The trust's income producing portfolio consists of multi-purpose logistic and distribution warehouses, as well as special purpose facilities. The share price trend has been climbing and is currently near all-time highs. Dividends are stable since 2018 and increased in 2020 and 2020 
2021, which is always a good sign. Horizon Technology Finance, ticker symbol HRZN. The current share price is $17.53. The current dividend yield is 6.85%. Again, this is a business development company or BDC. The share price trend has been falling, then flat since 2015. But as you can see, it's had a recent run up. So it's again trading near all time highs. You'll notice there's a trend there. Many of these stocks are doing that. The stock market on the whole is trading quite high right now. Dividends dropped a little in 2017, then stayed level and even had a bonus dividend in 2020. So the company is clearly doing quite well from the basic overlook. Inter Pipeline, IPPLF, share price $9.70. The forward dividend yield is 2.37%. This is an oil sands transportation NGL Processing, Conventional Oil Pipeline, and Bulk Liquid Storage Company. So it's an oil play. Share price trend climbed until 2014, then has been falling since. Although, as you can see, it has had a nice run up since March 2020. Dividends were climbing, but have dropped over 70% in early 2020 and have still not yet recovered. Nuveen Credit Strategies Income Fund, ticker symbol JQC. I just want to intervene here and let you know this one is a fund, essentially. I have got other funds, there are other funds that do do monthly dividends. They are not in this video, okay? I know there are gonna be people who are gonna leave me comments down below saying you've missed a share, that's because of funds. I will make another video just listing monthly income funds. I've just included this one fund, just for an example fund that pays monthly dividends. But there are other funds that pay monthly dividends and I will probably make a video about that. In fact, if you'd like me to make a video about that, Put me a comment down below and say, please make a video with a list, li list of the monthly income funds and I will do that. How's that for you? Anyway, this is a fixed income fund. Like I said, there are other monthly income funds, but they're not on this list. I'll probably make a video just of those. The share price trend generally here has been climbing. Dividends, while it's called an income fund, its dividend has been up and down and has been falling month on month in 2020. So as income goes, not the greatest stock on this list. You can see there the dividend yield is 6.37% and the current share price is $6.66. LTC Properties, another very popular monthly dividend stock. The ticker symbol is LTC. The current share price is $38.97. The forward dividend yield is 5.89%. This is a healthcare REIT. The share price trend, as you can see there, on the whole has been climbing. The dividends have been consistent and growing since 2005. Then there was stable since March 2016. That was the most recent dividend increase. So they've not increased the dividends again since March 2016. Main Street Capital Corporation, ticker symbol Main. Share price is currently $41.50. If you've watched my channel already, you will know I'm a big fan of Main. I own lots and lots of stocks of Main. I've made many videos about Main. I'll put links in the description down below to some of those videos for you. But if you're interested in learning more about Main, check those videos out. I was buying it at a much cheaper price than it is now, but it's still a very good company. The current dividend yield is 5.93%, so still very respectable. As I said, I've made many videos about Main. I've got one Main versus Orc. It was included in the video I mentioned earlier with the five business development companies. It was mentioned in that as well. The share price trend, as you can see, has been climbing. The dividends are very consistent and have been growing since 2010. They have both monthly and special dividends as well. Although I should really note here, the last special dividend paid was in 2019. Orchard Island Capital Inc. Ticker symbol ORC. I know this is popular with many people as well. The current share price is $5.27. The dividend yield is a massive 15.15%. Again, this is a mortgage REIT. The share price trend though, as you can see, has been falling, so it could well be a value trap. The dividend fell from 2015 to 2018, then stayed level before falling again in 2020. It has since partially recovered, but still not back to pre-pandemic levels. Oxford Square Capital Corporation. Again, this is another new one on the list. Ticker symbol OXSQ, share price $4.97. The dividend yield on this one is 8.55%. This is a closed-ended company, Oxford Square Capital Corp. Operates as a closed-ended and non-diversified management investment company. The company engages in providing capital to established businesses investing in syndicate bank loans and purchase debt and debt equity trenches of collateral 
loan obligations, also known as CLOs. The share price trend has been falling. The dividends fell in July 2020 and have not yet recovered. I'll be honest with you, I did make a little note when I was going through this. This is not one I would even consider investing in. I'm not a fan of things that use CLOs and that really is the main reason why. I've not looked deeply into the company. It might be a great company. Obviously, its history isn't great. Looking at the share price trend, it's just been falling. But like I say, the CLO thing, its actual business model isn't one that I personally like. Just putting that out there. On that note, I should just mention I'm not a financial advisor, so none of this is financial advice. If you want to invest in any stocks or shares, please be sure to do your own research and due diligence before doing so. Don't just take my word for it. Let's carry on. Pembina Pipeline Corporation, ticker symbol PBA. This again is a massively popular stock, and I'll be honest, this is one I'm currently looking at and considering buying into. Share price is $32.07. The dividend yield is 6.50%. It's an oil, gas, storage and transportation company. I can tell you now it is also looking into some renewables as well. The share price trend is flat to slightly growing. It still has room to recover back to pre-pandemic levels, which is one of the reasons I'm personally looking into this one myself at the moment and intend to look a little bit deeper into it. So don't be surprised if you see a video from me about this particular company coming up in the future. If you're not already sure to subscribe to the channel, there's your cue to subscribe. If you're interested in seeing that video, put a comment down below and tell me you've subscribed and then let me know you'd like me to make that video and then I will. How's that? The dividends general trend is up certainly since 2016. It did dip in 2020, but currently it's at a high compared to what it has been in the past. So it looks fairly strong. Permain Basin Royalty Trust, tick symbol PBT. The share price is $5.47. The dividend yield is 3.87%. This is an oil, gas, exploration and production company again. The share price, I describe this as up and down, as you can see on the graph there. Dividends are frankly all over the shop, up and down. They fell in 2020 and have only partly recovered, but are still well down on pre-pandemic levels. Pent Park Floating Rate Capital, ticker symbol PFLT. The share price is $13.16. The dividend yield is a whopping 8.71%. This is a business development company. The share price trend is flat until the pandemic and then dipped in March 2020 and has so far mostly recovered. Dividends climbed until 2015, then remained the same same with the exception of a few reduced dividends in 2018 and then have held the same all the way through including in 2020 and 2021. Permrock Royalty Trust, ticker symbol PRT, the share price is $7.25, the dividend yield is 4.22%. This is an oil trust, kind of like a REIT, it's Permrock Royalty Trust, the trust is Delaware Statutory Trust formed to own a perpetual interest in oil and natural gas producing properties. The share price is falling down and up. The dividends were generally falling, then vanished for a while in 2020 and have since come back to around pre-pandemic levels. Prospect Capital Corporation, ticker symbol PSEC. The share price is $8.28. The dividend yield is a whopping 8.7%. The business, Again, this is a business development company. The share price trend though over the long term, as you can see, has generally been falling. The dividends fell in 2017 and then stayed the same and even unchanged in 2020 and 2021. So not a lot of movement there. Then we've got Realty Income Corporation, ticker symbol O, probably the most popular monthly dividend stock. It even trademarked the name, the monthly dividend company. And yes, this is another one that I do have shares in. And if you're interested in knowing more about this particular company, I did a really good head-to-head -head video taking this one head-to-head -head with another popular REIT, Federal Realty Income Trust. I'll put a link up there and in the description down below so that you're able to check that out. And then you'll be able to learn a lot more about this company where I took a deep dive into what it does and its metrics as well as. So if you are interested in that, check that video out. Like I said, I'll put a link up there and in the description down below for you to be able to do that. It is a diversified retail REIT. Its share price trend has been climbing climbing as you can see its dividends grow every year for the past 25 years and it even increased dividends four times in 2020 and so far it's increased its dividends twice in 2021 it just keeps increasing its dividends this really is an income play for growing dividends this particular stock oxford lane capital corporation ticker symbol oxlc share price 7.41 percent the forward dividend yield is 10.96 percent this is a mortgage rate the share price trend as you can see there generally has been down falling dividends were cut in half in july 2020 and have still not recovered to the previous levels credit suzy x links monthly pay to leverage mortgage re etn its current share price is seven dollars and 46 cents its dividend yield is 11.57 percent it's a mortgage re 
stroke ETN. Now an ETN is an exchange traded note, which is basically something that holds types of unsecured debts, securities that track an underlying index of securities and trade on major exchanges like a stock. The share price trend, as you can see, really has been falling. The dividends were cut in half in 2020, that was January 2020, and have still not recovered to previous levels. The long-term dividend trend really does seem to be flat to slightly down before that. So not really one that I'd call a dividend growth stock. Sabine Royalty Trust. <laughs> symbol SBR. The share price here is $41.84. The forward dividend yield is 5.53%. This is an oil and gas exploration and production company. The share price trend really has been volatile to flat. It's actually trading fairly high at the moment, but still within its recent ranges. The dividend really is random. It seems to be different month to month. One month can quite literally be double or half what the dividend was in the previous month. Sure Communications, ticker symbol SJR. This is your telecoms play if you're interested in telecoms monthly dividend stock this would be it the share price is $29.09 the dividend yield is 3.3% it's based in Canada and is the only telecom stock with a monthly dividend the share price trend after staying basically flat from 2007 in March 2021 the share price has rocketed up as you can see on the graph there so overall the long-term trend has been up currently trading near all-time highs the dividends are fairly level it had mild ups and downs but fairly consistent since 2018 and I would say even slightly climbing in 2021 and 2021 so far the dividends have been good in fact the highest monthly dividends to date were in 2021 so that is of course a good sign and may have something to do with why the share price is that much higher right now. Stellas Capital Investment Corporation ticker symbol SCM the share price is $12.68 the dividend yield is 7.88% again this is a business development company the share price trend is up down up but long term trend is basically flat it's been trading sideways as you can see it switched to quarterly dividends in 2020 and only paid three of them in 2020 then resumed to monthly dividends in 2021 but at a lower rate about 70 percent of what they were previously san juan basin royalty trust ticker sjt share price is $4.92. The dividend yield is 7.56%. Oil and gas exploration and production company. The share price trend has been volatile, but overall the trend has been down over the longer term as you can see excluding the hump in 2003 the dividends are up and down month on month so far 2021 has been a very good year for dividends wise with this company sl green realty Corp. ticker symbol slg the share price is 78 dollars and 79 cents the forward dividend yield is 4.62 percent this is an office rate the share price trend that i've described as up down up down down up basically a roller coaster. It paid a big special dividend in December 2020 and has remained level since at 30 cents per share per month. It only started paying monthly dividends in 2020. Before that, it was paying quarterly dividends. Solar Senior Capital, ticker symbol SUNS. Another good ticker symbol there, don't you think? Share price is $15.61. The dividend yield is 7.77%, so a nice return. This is a business development company again. The share price trend, I've described that as flat to falling. It's basically trading sideways. You could say it could be a recovery play, but it's basically been level, just up and down. Dividends have been level as well since 2012. There was a slight drop in 2020 and it remained the same since that drop at 10 cents per share per month. Stag Industrial, ticker symbol STAG or Stag. This is another stock that I personally do own shares in. I think this is a fantastic company. I have made a video about that. I'll put a link down below in the description as well as up there if you are interested in checking out Stag Industrial and learning more about that because I did an in-depth dive review on that particular company and stock previously already so you're welcome to check that out at your leisure. It's an industrial REIT. The share price trend as you can see has been climbing. The dividends are consistent and slowly growing. The even increased them a little in 2020 and in 2021. Superior Plus Corp. Ticker symbol S-U-U-I-F. The share price is $12.52. The forward dividend yield is 4.61%. This is a gas utilities company. The share price trend is volatile to falling as you can see there. The dividends are fairly consistent since 2016 
2016 with minor ups and downs, but has been paying slightly higher than usual dividends in 2021, which is obviously a good sign. Trans Alta Renewables. So finally we've come to Renewables Play. If you're interested in the one that does the solar, the hydro, the wind turbines, this is it. Ticker symbol TRSWF, share price $17.28. The forward dividend yield is 4.38%. This is a renewable energy company, including wind, natural gas, hydro, and solar. Share price trend has been volatile to climbing. As you can see, it's had quite a good run up since 2018. The dividends have been fairly consistent since 2013 with minor ups and downs. So far, 2021 has generally been higher than it has been in the past. So that's a good sign as well. Well, US Global Investors ticker symbol grow, another cool ticker symbol there. Share price is $5.99. The dividend yield is 1%. The company provides sector specific exchange traded funds and mutual funds and recently moved into cryptocurrencies. So if you're interested in a cryptocurrency stock play, this might be one to consider. The share price trend is flat over the long term with shares rising and falls. Currently it has had a sharp rise since March 2020, taking it to highs it's in the share share price not since seen since 2012 so currently trading around the nine year high but still much lower than its peaks in 2006. Dividends have halved in 2015 and have only been brought back to the pre-2015 level in March 2021 and that brings us to the end of the list I hope you had fun and enjoyed that if you are interested in me making any particular type of video do let me know in the comments down below again if you've got a favorite monthly dividend stock let me know in the comments down below other than that, I hope that gave you lots of ideas. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much and bye bye.